Hello everybody and welcome to my first advanced Excel tutorial. Um, this tutorial is going to show you how to use defined ranges in your formulas. So this is quite a simple spreadsheet um, and all it's got is you've got a set pass mark at the top. Um, you've then got uh, just a list of random names that I've generated off some random website um, and just random num uh, percentages that I've generated as well. Um, and then all it's going to do is just say whether or not they've passed. Um, and hopefully whilst doing this I'm going to show you how useful it can be to use named ranges in your formulas. So first thing we need to do is define a na ra this as a range. So go to insert name define. Um, and as you can see I've still got this one from the last one so let's get rid of that. Um, and then just put pass underscore mark at the top and then I want this to refer to uh, sheet 2 because that's the sheet I'm on so equals sheet 2 exclamation mark C2 um, and I want to press F4 on that so that I get my dollar signs um, that will make them absolute references so it's always going to reference C2 and click OK um, so now if I go on to pass mark you'll see that it's high highlighting this cell there's 50 percent. Now um, what I'm going to do now is just write a formula in here so I'm just going to use an if statement so equals if uh, and if you don't know how to use if statements then go back to my intermediate tutorials that will show you how to use them um, so equals if and then I'm going to go to this cell and I'm going to say if it is less than the pass mark so all I need to do here is just type pass underscore mark and you'll see that it's turned green here um, and that means that it's a named range so it's recognizing it as a, a named range um, then comma and I'll just finish off the rest of the if statement so if it's true and the grade is less than pass then we want it to put fail and otherwise we want it to put pass remember to put your apostrophes around your strings um, and then um, I say apostrophes uh, quotation marks apostrophes is the wrong word um, and there you'll see that in instead of comparing it with the word pass mark it's actually recognizing this is a defined range and looking up against this cell um, and you notice that it highlights it in green um, and then when you drag this down it's always looking at pass mark so you don't even need to worry about your absolute referencing because it's always looking at this you also you can cut this around put it anywhere you want and it's still going to reference it even if your formula hasn't changed still going to know exactly what it's looking up against and also if you change the value of this then your pass mark is going to change as well so we make it 10% you know, it's pretty much everyone's going to pass if you make it 0% everyone does pass if you make it 99% then only the uh, Leslie passed but Leslie is pretty clever so that does make sense um, and then so that's how you use your um, your ranges, uh, named ranges in formulas. Um, maybe you're thinking, why don't I just use an absolute reference to that cell? Um, well, if you think about it, um, imagine you had, say, kind of 50 references all to a cell, and then you changed the position of where that cell was. Then you then got to go through every single one of your formulas and then just change it. 50 times that's a lot of effort so this is just taking out that effort a lot more it's also making it really easy for other people that view your spreadsheets after you to understand exactly what it's referencing against so the pass mark makes a lot more sense to someone than just d2 which they'll have to spend their time looking for um, let's see how much time we've got left we've got plenty of time um, so now I'm going to show you how you would define a um, a constant so to speak so it's not going to define a range it's just going to define a value so I'm going to get rid of this I delete that 
Shift cells up. Oh, I don't want to do that. I want to delete the entire row. Let's get rid of the entire row. And now you'll notice that you can't find it because I've deleted the range. It's not there anymore. So what we're going to do is go to insert, name, and define, pass mark. It's got half ref because I've deleted it. So I'm going to get rid of this. And I'm just going to put in 0.85. Okay. And you'll notice now that it's finding it. It's not recognising it as green, um, but it is finding it because it's comparing it with 0.85. Um, so what what's happened here is I've made this a set kind of, um, and for anyone who's done programming, you'd call it a constant variable. Um, and it's just going to be the same across the whole sheet. So now you can just chat pass mark in. So whenever you, whenever you're writing, you want to want to do anything with that constant, just equals pass mark done. And that's it. So very useful for kind of quite complicated numbers that you can't remember, or just numbers that you want to use across your entire spreadsheet. But uh, you want to be able to change whenever you need to. So that's how you use um, ranges within named ranges within formulas. Um, and in the next tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to essentially write your own formulas uh, in a um, using the, the the insert name uh, feature. So thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.